Hello beautiful Aries, welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well and staying safe. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for the week ahead. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. And be sure to check in with your own intuition throughout the reading because this is how Spirit speaks directly to you. So let's see what cards Spirit would like to reveal this week for you, Aries. This one here I feel is your card. Okay, so this week it's a big energy. We have Karma Cleanse. Liberate yourself from karmic patterns of the past and live a life of creative choice. This is about releasing negative patterns, people and situations from your life, Aries. You have been in a karmic relationship with someone that may be ongoing at the moment or it may be someone in your past. Spirit wants you to know, yes, this, this has been a karmic relationship and it's now time to break free of the patterns that have been holding you back from this relationship. So this week is about cleansing, cleansing your aura smudging, smoking your aura, your space, your home, your office, your workspace and clearing away this energy. I'm also receiving the message Aries that something has or will come to an end very soon. Something that's been following you from your past is going to end because it's the end of this karmic relationship or this karmic dynamic. And it will feel like a fresh start. It will feel like a cleanse. It will feel like a detoxification. Beautiful energy coming up for your first card, Aries. Let's take a look at this next card for you, Aries. Guidance for Aries. Let's see this one here, the chariot. Okay, so... First of all, in the tarot, the chariot is Cancer's card. So you may have a Cancer around you or significant in your life. The chariot is about forward momentum and you taking the reins, you taking back your power in a situation. And it says on this card, charge ahead with confidence, stay strong and focused. So no matter what is going on this week, stay strong, stay focused charge ahead with confidence you're going to get the best outcome for you Aries look at things straight on um, don't procrastinate or put things off this is a week of looking challenges in the eye and having confidence to go ahead and, and take the action needed so that's really really important this week for you Aries I see you moving ahead in a positive way for you Let's see, we'll reveal from this deck of cards, please, Spirit, for Aries. Yes, this one here. Yes, it's about action. And Aries, you don't generally have a problem with this, uh, taking action with something. Um, but I do feel that it's been difficult to move forward in a situation. You'll know what Spirit is talking about there for you. If it resonates, it's been difficult. You've been blocked in an area of your life. Um... And now it's time to take some kind of action toward a resolution. And it says on this card, my divine action incites love and harmony. So coming from a place of love and balance and harmony internally is what spirit is asking of you. I am aware of my thoughts and driven by positive forces. So this energy of moving forward, Aries, is... Driven by positive forces. So being aware of where your mind is at, whether it's on the positives or whether it's on the negatives. You don't want to be charging ahead in a negative way. So being very aware of where your thoughts are at and moving forward with positive forces. And you listen to your heart. My desire to manifest light transforms tests into growth. Challenge into opportunity and fear into love. So you're transforming a negative situation in your life, Aries. You're transmuting that energy. 
Guidance for Aries, please, Spirit. Okay, stand tall and strong. Today I choose to remain positive. So we have that message again coming in for you. I face all of my challenges with strength and courage. I will not be denied or turned away. I do not allow myself to be carried away by negative thoughts. So we have that message again coming in here. Be very aware of where your thoughts are at and remain on the positive. I stand tall and strong and live each moment in joy and peace, leaving my future in God's hands. I believe in life because life believes in me. So there's an affirmation in there as well at the end. If that resonates, you can say that throughout the week. Standing in your power this week, Aries. Standing tall, standing strong. I see you moving forward with confidence in a positive direction with positive thoughts. Okay, so we have a card that has flipped out. We've actually got two here for you. Let's see what they are. Okay, interesting, because we have the chariot again. Okay, so we have the chariot and the chariot. So this is an important message for you, Aries. The chariot, all those energies once again coming to the forefront of being in control, taking the reins, you're steering your ship. You're taking some kind of positive action this week that's going to lead to success for you. And this is the blockage. This is the two of swords. Difficult communication with someone. Not being able to, up to this point, feel like you have ease of communication. With the chariot above, I'm going to say it's likely that this week you'll have a breakthrough in this regard. You'll be communicating to the people that's important and you're going to be right on center with what you say. The chariot energy moving forward in a positive way for you. And this is also about becoming in alignment. So what your heart desires, your mind desires also. You're not at odds with what your heart and your head wants. The Ace of Swords, um, a brilliant support coming through from the angels, from God's source energy around communication with someone, around a phone call, around an email, it can be any form of communication. This is part of the breakthrough. This is it. This is part of the breakthrough and it's worth the wait. I can see you've been having to wait for this energy shift and it's and it's worth the wait. You will be in contact with someone who is able to help you, assist you, guide you. Be a support in some regard or give you information that you need. That's really powerful. Okay, next card here. We have the five of swords. You've been in a battle. You've been in a struggle. You've been in conflict with someone. Spirit is well aware of this and it's related to the karma that is playing out in your life. With this relationship. Someone has been loyal to you. Someone is loyal by your side. But then we have deception as well. We have deception around you. Deception, lies. Someone trying to control you have it over you emotionally, mentally. But you have the support here coming in. And if it's not support from an individual, it's support from spirit. We have this beautiful angelic energy here. So you can definitely call on spirit, your angels and guides to help you. They're helping you anyway, but you can definitely call upon them. And the devil. So this is a Capricorn. Some of you are working with Capricorn energy. The devil is a really tough, difficult situation that has been following you, that has been, I, I feel, around you for quite a while. It's not just this week. And you've been trying to break free or find a solution, trying to move forward in a positive way in this drama. But... 
someone's been taking your power away from you or you've been giving it away, perhaps unintentionally. But it is time to cleanse this energy now so you can release yourself from the hold of the, the devil, the restriction, the discomfort, the entrapment. Someone has done you really wrong. Someone has done you wrong. Someone has acted manipulatively. Someone has acted in a way that to me feels like betrayal. Someone's betrayed you. Someone you didn't think were, were like that. Their true colors have come out. But like this card says here, it's about liberating yourself now from this cycle, from this entrapment, from this disempowerment. The patterns are going to end. There is an end coming up soon for you in terms of this um, pattern, breaking this pattern. Until that happens, stand tall, stay strong, Aries. Take the reins of the chariot. Do as much as you can. Take action and uh, take action and do as much as you can to stay in control of a situation here. Um, Charge ahead with confidence. Don't let anyone or the situation take away your confidence or your self-worth. And remain as positive as you can because when you're entrapped and feeling controlled with this devil, it is difficult to remain positive sometimes and so that's why I feel spirits bring through these messages here of you remaining um, aware of where your thoughts are at and making sure that you are driven so the action you take is with positive thoughts in mind um, and don't get carried away by negative thoughts as it's written in this card here Okay, so really powerful cards here. Let me pull an affirmation card to finish up your reading, Aries. Affirmation card for Aries to finish up, please, Spirit. This card here is yours. Okay. I feel and express the immeasurable power and purpose of my being. That's your affirmation for the week. If you feel that resonates, you can definitely use this affirmation on a daily basis. I feel and express the immeasurable power and purpose of my being. I feel this is going to break the pattern, the hold that the devil has on you. The immeasurable power of your purpose. The purpose of your being rather than being uh, taken advantage of or manipulated by whoever this devil is. That's really powerful. Okay, Aries. Really powerful read this week for you guys. I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Please click the like button if you did enjoy the reading. You can subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I really do love and appreciate you all for all your support on my channel. Thank you to everyone who has donated to my channel. It's such a huge help. Thank you so much, guys. I love and appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Have a fantastic week, Aries, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.